Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Aditya Gupta. I'm currently pursuing my DM in Pediatric Oncology from Ames, New Delhi, having completed my MBBS and MD from the same institute. In this video, I'll be talking about a really burning issue that every medical aspirant, be it NEET PG, be it NEET UG, a resident doctor, a DM resident, or any doctor in this country, or for that matter, any doctor in this world or in the Southeast Asian region, needs to be aware about why SciHub is important and why the case against SciHub that is pending in the Delhi High Court needs to be won by SciHub. Now we all know, and a lot of us might not be know what SciHub is. SciHub is a site where a lot of the, these research articles be being published in uh, reputed journals, which are paywalled. In order to access those articles, you have to pay. The fees is not small. It's not one dollar. It's not one rupee. It's not hundred rupees. Not you know uh, five dollars or ten dollars. The fee sometimes is in thousands and thousands of dollars. These paywalled articles, these research articles that contribute to the better world, to the better understanding, to the better. upliftment of the society for better medical research they are paywalled by these journals and who is gaining from this only and only journals and sahab like a masiha came and made all these articles free it removed these paywalls you know i'll give you an example on how it starts and why it is it wrong so normally let's assume i want to publish a book mujhe ek book publish karni hai so i will go to a publisher let's assume um, any xyz publisher that publisher will give me some amount of and if the publisher feels yes the book is worthy of publishing the publisher will give me a small amount of money to write that book a at the same point of time the publisher will give some amount of money to the editor of that publisher so in order to edit that book things that have to be kept the things that do not have to be kept then it will finally publish and will give me a small percentage of share as royalty in this way the publisher is happy because he is publishing the book and gaining money the editor gets the money for editing those articles for vetting those articles and i as an author get some money this is radically different in academic publishing example i just posted recently that my thesis is going to get published did i if i'm publishing that thesis in a journal do i get some money no the reviewers who reviewed that article do do, do they get any money no but do you realize how much does a journal charges the good reputed journals their one year subscription fee are in the range of thousands of dollars aims right now spends close to 2 to 5 crore rupees per year 2 to 5 crore let me be very clear 2 to 5 crore rupees per year to access few of these journals not all just a few of these journals do you think everyone in this you know lower middle income group countries india pakistan uh, bangladesh researchers who want to research and want to access these articles want to know from these articles have the money to pay for these articles these articles cost in thousands and thousands of dollars and let's assume i want to pay because i want to know about the research of that particular researcher will that money go to that researcher let's assume i know that some xyz person a doctor in us did an amazing research and i want to know that research but will that money go to that particular researcher who who spent two or three years in doing that research no the only people who gain from this is the predatory journals these journals which charge thousands and thousands of dollars and in case against this sahab acted and the sahab was a savior for every medical student for every research student in this country and other lo lower middle income country especially in the south east asia region of the world so let's say and why is this research important you will be asking yes a research why if you want to do research why do you not do it on your own why do you need to read articles you need to read articles for example for my thesis which was on nutropenic diet i needed there were only three studies or three to five studies that were conducted by the time i published my article i needed to know what kind of sample size should i expect how should i enroll you know you always build upon things that have already been done you do not start from the blind otherwise there's no point of the entire research that has accumulated till now and that's why sahab is important in order of getting these uh, access to these articles which are right now being used all these by these journals which charge thousands and thousands and sometimes millions of dollars there's a case right now in delhi uh, uh, against sahab Uh, and most of the times in general public view the delhi high court has ruled that case in favor of sahab but right now i want the support of everyone who's watching this video to go to twitter and use the hashtag i support sahab we should show that the general public also cares about sahab so that the pressure on courts is there that they keep on continuing the uh, supporting sahab and not fall prey to these journals who just want to mint money okay thank you and have a nice day